it's raining, so you can probably hear that. Sorry, I don't have a good external mic anymore. The storage unit fire I was a part of destroyed it. Hi, it's your favorite naked mole rat, Tolly Ann. I am currently in the middle of a one-third life crisis. To celebrate that fact, I'm going to take cornstarch and use it as a setting powder. Yes, cornstarch, the stuff that you use to thicken up gravy with. Why, you may ask? Well, this is the powder that I've been using for a while, and guess what? It sucks. It gives me terrible flashbacks. So rather than waste my money on another product that will most likely completely disappoint me, I am taking the DIY route and using this baby right here. Plus, if this fails, rather than just see all my money go out the window, I can use this to thicken gravy. How do I start off my third life crisis? Let's start with the fact that I have to use sampler concealers because I'm too broke to buy new ones and neither of them match my skin tone. Let's apply this onto my under eyes and other parts of my face that are absolutely hideous. Uh -huh. Really though, I've actually been very depressed. If you look at my room, it perfectly describes how I feel. Actually, my room only has like a couple pieces of clothes laying on the ground. You should see the rest of my apartment though. Mm -hmm. Dear roommate, oh, oh sweaty. If you're watching this, um, please do your dishes as you use them and dry them off and put them away. The countertop and the sink are not places where dishes go to die. And please take your clothes out of the dryer after it's finished drying because the dryer is not a clothing graveyard. I'm not your wife or your mother, so please clean up after yourself. Now that we have the ratchet parts covered, let's go in with the big guns. Time to cornstarch it up, daddy. I don't want to risk damaging a beauty blender, so I'm going to use this poof from the, the elf powder that <laughs> the love of my life gave to me. Time to put this on my face. Oh, my under eyes about to be thicker than gravy, you know? Oh, ho, ho. Nice. I look just like how I do after I blend out my NYX powder. <coughs> How do people breathe with this stuff on their face? <sighs> All right, what else is wrong with my life? Well, I had to get surgery and to basically summarize my experience with that, the first two nights were terrible. I was screaming out in agonizing pain and I wanted to die. Now my vagina is bleeding at an alarming rate 24 seven. And right now my face feels like around over 9,000 times drier than usual. I personally think I have the world's driest skin. Do not give me crap. Do not say your skin is drier. Back off and let me bask in the glory of my only achievement in life. It's actually raining harder now. I wish that you know who would pound me like how the rain is pounding the roof. <laughs> Let's start with the eyes. What kind of look should we go for? I grabbed a few palettes. No, I only grabbed two. Wow. Let's go for the look of a steam millennial is trapped in a dilemma and wants to fall into a hole and die. I'm starting with the shade in this palette. This one's called Amen because Amen to this Bible verse. Dude, I actually got a Bible recently. Um, Thanks for the Bible. I actually took a couple people at it um very interesting many stories much wiseness um let's read the bible together sometimes i'm just kind of putting this color all over my lid though to cover up the fact that i hate myself guess what else i have a stalker yes another one this guy is way more dedicated and creepy than that one kevin guy oh my god he stalks me on all my social media i blocked him on literally everything except for youtube but i don't think you could actually block them from seeing your videos he definitely watches my videos so if you're watching this yeah i don't like you so i'm taking the shade double because that's exactly what this guy is they tell everybody that we're getting married well listen here stalker bitch i'm getting married next year not to you to somebody that i actually love and care for so pop off my dick <sighs> bye i have no idea how to freaking blend um hi how do i look Ratchet. Before you ask a uh, hoe, why don't you just move? Well, honey, I make just enough to get by and it cost 
$800 to break my lease. I was actually thinking of starting a GoFundMe because I legitimately feel like my life is in danger. It would go something like this. Hi, my name is Holly Ann and I'm a broke ass hoe with an insane ass stalker that is trying to force marriage onto me. I need your help so please give me your money so I can leave my current apartment before this MF comes and stabs me to death in my kitchen. I've actually had dreams of him trying to kill me after I hardcore reject him because he can't take the pain. Oh, like as if me blocking him on every single form of social media possible isn't enough of a rejection for him. Guess not, because guess who's still obsessed with me? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> time to finish my eyes before I finish him. What? Color should we use? Um, let's use vestment because praise Jesus. Oh boy, I fucked him up. Let's see if we can fix this. Just, 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 just put it on the other side. Fuck it up the same way so then if people ask, did you fuck up? I can go, ha! No, I didn't. I did this on purpose because I like looking like a fugly slut. Oh my god, I literally just got it in my nose. Who am I? This look is so Holly Ann 8th grade. Yes, honey. Fuck my asshole. And then I'm just gonna go in with the shade, I don't know, the cathedral. Save me and my crusty asshole. Perfect. Wow, now that I'm finished with my eyes, let's unveil the cornstarch baking shop. Let's see how well this stuff works. I am going to be using a fan brush because yellow dogs and I actually saw some chick use a fan brush. So let's see how well that turns out for me. Yeah, I still have hella flashbacks, so let's take a fatty. I honestly cannot tell if I have flashback or not by looking at the monitor because as soon as I get close to it, it kind of whites out my whole face. Oh my goodness. Looking at it in person, it looks somewhat decent. What the fuck? But I won't find out for sure until I'm editing. That's usually when I see it the worst. My under eyes do kind of burn a little bit because the skin there is so dry and sensitive. Ha. Huh. So maybe if you have really oily eyes, maybe this could work for you. You. Let's talk about the job market in Iowa real quick. Well, first of all, it sucks. Unless you want to farm cows or work in a factory. <laughs> Good luck finding a full-time job. Moist, moist, moist. Sitting like this. <laughs> the only way I personally would ever work in a factory is if I had to choose between marrying my stalker or working in a factory. Either one of those situations end in a death. But hey, at least if I work in a factory, I decide how and when I die. Versus if I marry my stalker, I die after he realizes that I'm not the sweet and submissive girl that he pays me out to be. But either way, my stalker's probably gonna murder me after he watches this video. So, if I just show up dead, well, um, he did it. So I'm just taking the uh, highlighter from that Lice Festival palette and cake it onto my face because maybe if I highlight enough, it'll actually brighten up my day. So what do I do for a job though? I basically sell supplements. I actually do have a degree in biomed. The two jobs that I see occasionally posted about online in my area want somebody with an associate's degree. I have a bachelor's, which you're like, oh, that's awesome, right? No, it's not. That makes me overqualified. Nobody wants somebody that's overqualified. So what else is wrong with my life? Well, besides my eyebrows, I made the mistake of getting rid of all my black clothes. I even donated one of my favorite dresses. Like, what the? because I wanted to adopt a more pastel aesthetic because I think it's really cute. But the problem with that with me is the fact that I am disgusting and I spill food all over myself all the time. Black hides that pretty well, pastels don't. Wow, look, I have one eyebrow now. I have on so much highlighter. Oh my God, I am amazed, shook. Wow, I'm a highlight goddess. I don't really care about contouring and bronzering because I'm ugly either way. So what's the point of trying to hide it? Hmm? And as I wait for that to dry, um, let's see what else is wrong with my life. Well, first of all, my hair is extremely greasy and I have a JoJo hairline. Look at this. Before anyone goes, well, you don't even wear your hair if you have like two pieces of hair. Well, honey, I have Hashimoto's and that makes your hair suck. But I'm gonna try using cornstarch to make my hair less greasy. Oh, yeah, I have no idea what the hell is up with my hair. It is hairy. 
Now that we got that dilemma out of the way, let's put on some better than sex mascara. I don't even know what sex is anymore, so I guess everything is better than sex for me. Haha. <laughs> Damn, I do got hella flashback. Fuck my asshole with a chainsaw. But my biggest dilemma of them all, besides not trying to blink for like the next minute, is the fact that I really want to move back to California. And where I lived in California is freaking expensive. Like, I have no idea how people can live there. Expensive. I do not have a job lined up. I do not have an apartment lined up. Uh, I don't know what to do about that, so I'm just gonna put some lip gloss on. Promote my channel so I can at least have a job when I move to California. Thanks! I'm sure you can probably cut cocaine with cornstarch, which is another use I can make of my cornstarch. Alright, I'm gonna go out into the world now and see how the world takes on my cornstarch face. See y'all in a bit! Hi, here's an update on my under eye situation. So, in person, it doesn't look that terrible, but on camera, especially with my ring light, oh my god, I looked at myself while I was editing. They were not able to kill off the week today. You can totally see the line where my concealer ends and my highlight starts. Wow, that's pretty bad. So my review on using cornstarch as a finishing powder. To be honest, you can do it if you're not taking any sort of flash photography with your face and you have an extreme oil for a skin. But if you're like me and have the world's driest skin, I suggest getting a proper finishing powder. All right, enjoy these bats in the cave. Subscribe to my channel, YOLO dongs, thumbs up, you know, all that good shiz. And I'll see you soon.